Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Blue Archive video. Alright, the second anniversary for Blue Archive is going on right now, featuring this particular new event, uh, Alabaster Calling Card, right now. So we have a very unique event uh, featuring the CNC characters, alright, which is Bunny Toki and Maid Aris. Now let's talk a little bit about the second anniversary if you guys are considering to play the game right now. So what do you need to be prepared for or what do you need to know? Now, if you are starting the game and if you're trying to reroll, now right now it is going to be a decent time uh, to play the game because uh, if you go to your mailbox, you should be able to get enough for 20 pulls. All right, as you can see, there's a special event reward. This one is going to be for the uh, web event, and then we have a maintenance one which will give you 960 uh, pyroxines. Uh, by right, you should be getting this alongside with free two-year anniversary pre-registration gifts. This one uh, should be available to all the accounts. As you can see, you're going to get 1,200 uh, pyroxines from this, which equates to 10 pulls, all right, a multiple. Now, you get about 20 pulls in total. If you're trying to reroll, uh, that's the way to go, right? Now, the game uh, is pretty easy to reroll. If you're looking to reroll in Blue Archive, ideally, just go to account and there's a way to delete your account and just literally do that over and over again. It's just a very simple process. Now, let's talk a little bit about the characters right now in the banner. Alright, so a lot of people have been asking me during my stream, should you reroll right now uh, for any of these characters? We have made Aries and we also have Bani Toki. Now these two characters will be available to you guys uh, as well, right? So the thing is, these two characters, they are not that bad actually, they are pretty strong. Both are very strong in their own category. It's just a little bit unfortunate that if you are starting out the game, you might not need them as much. So let me explain why. Uh, the reason is because they are both single target damage dealers. All right, so especially with Bunny Toki and Maid Aries, that's going to be something that uh, you want to pay attention to. So Bunny Toki, you can see, she's a very strong single target damage dealer. She can do very high uh, attack of damage to one enemy. All right, so same goes for Maid Aries, right? So she's a two cost unit. So Maid Aries, in a way, it's also the same. So she's a single target damage dealer. You can see she does 1,128% of attack damage to one enemy at four costs. Now they are both not limited. All right, just so you guys know, if you miss out on them, both Bunny Toki and Maid Aries will be added to the standard banners. Now, in that case, who should you reroll for, right? Since these two characters are like single target, uh, I would recommend getting an AoE character. That way, you, they can help you to progress in story. Ideally, ideally, if you're rerolling, you're starting out, you want characters that can help you in the story first. Uh, single target damage dealers are more towards the boss, like raid bosses or the raids of Blue Archive, where you do get uh, quite a number of pyroxines from that. However, uh, if you're new, you probably won't be able to tackle the higher rates, so therefore you still have to rely on maybe, you know, take advantage of your friend system. You can borrow your friend's units to use uh, right there. So, uh, if you are rerolling in this game, one of the best one is going to be Yori. I think she's going to be the better character to start out with. Yori is still going to be a better overall character that's a yellow type. Alright, she's going to be a piercing type. Uh, same goes for Cherino. I do think that this is going to be a very, very... These two are probably the best one for yellow type. Uh, if you are looking for a blue type, a special character, uh, Iroha, still one of the better ones. Her banner just left before this, alright? So if you uh, pull on her, good. But if not, uh, unfortunately, uh, she's still going to be the better one to try to get. And then we also have uh, Hibiki, which is a red type. Uh, Hibiki sort of have a competition now, but the other competition, Nagisa, is a limited character, so you can't really get her. So Hibiki is the character that you can reroll uh, in any of the banners. And also for support, I would highly recommend uh, Ako, this girl right here. She's one of the better supporters out there. And also a uh, Himari. Himari is also going to be a very, very good character. So the girl in the wheelchair. So these are the characters that I would recommend rerolling for. Uh, let me list it down here for you guys, right? So. Yori, Cherino, Iroha, Hibiki, and also Ako and Himari. So I do think that these are, if you can get a combination of these two, any of these characters, that will suffice for now. And then you should start saving for the next 6% banners. Uh, speaking of 6%, right now this particular banner uh, is not really 6% yet. These are still regular 3%. We should have a 6% banner coming somewhere in 2024. Uh, if my prediction goes correctly, it should be somewhere in February or March, but we'll see, right? So uh, there's a chance that they could make the entire process faster.
Now we also have this web view event right now. Make sure you guys do this. So all you need to do is just click on the web view event. They have a blue archive orchestra coming soon. You just need to click on uh, the characters like Shiroko and then you will get the 200 pyroxenes that will be sent to your account. So this is going to last for I believe 7 days. So you just got to do that every single day, right? So let's look at the event and let's look at the patch notes. Give you guys a better idea. Now if you look on, on the second anniversary uh, pre-registration gift that they mentioned on their Twitter or x.com, you can see this one like I mentioned, everybody gets this on your uh, in your inbox, right? And then there's this one that I just mentioned. The web view event, sound archive, the orchestra. Also, you get uh, another thousand two if you log in every single day. All right. Alongside with that, there's also some other special uh, login going on right now. Uh, you do get about three thousand six hundred pyroxenes actually in total. Uh, let's talk about that in this patch. Uh, they will list it down for you. Uh, you can see maintenance also. Not to mention the maintenance do give uh nine hundred sixty in total. So actually, in actuality, you get about four thousand five hundred to four thousand six hundred pyroxenes which is about 35 to 40 pulls, it's around there. All right, so that's going to be more than enough to reroll if you're trying to reroll, right? So let's talk about the current patch, what's happening right now to give you guys a better idea. Like I mentioned, Maid Aries and Bunny Toki, both are single target uh, characters. So uh, they are both a little bit different. Maid Aries is for blue type. All right, the current boss, uh, Shiro Kuro, uh, Maid Aries is going to be good. But the next boss, Kaiten boss, uh, Bunny Toki is going to be better. So pick whichever that you are lacking in. Uh, I always say that if you don't have Swimsuit Azusa, if you don't have Wakamo, and you need a single target damage dealer, Mid Aries can fill that role for you. Uh, or Hasumi, right? The, the track suit Hasumi, which everybody gets for free in the previous event, and she's a welfare unit as well. If you have any of those three uh, single damage dealers, right? I feel like you don't need Mid Aries as much. Uh, Bunny Toki is going to be a better fit in most cases. Plus, she's a two cost a unit that means she's going to be pretty flexible in that sense. Also, Mate Yuzu is free. All right, all you need to do is just play the story of the event. You're going to get one copy of her for free. All right, so hopefully you guys get her. She's pretty decent. Uh, not the best character, but not bad either. All right, she's going to be a uh, very unique. She has a defense type of elastic, uh, which I thought is going to be able to future proof herself. So let's talk about uh, the other things going on. Now the event right now is pretty simple. I actually like the event. So all you need to do as always, uh, every single stage, these students will give you bonuses on these items. So just make sure you set the students accordingly. All right, for example, like stage 10. Notice uh, this is going to give you the immaculate mid hairband. So yeah, if I'm trying to get the uh, headband, so I gotta bring these characters. Hopefully, uh, make sure you guys refer here and this will give you bonus. The trick here is to play through the stage with one time with all of the characters with bonus and then do one more time with your level up characters or your meta characters to get the three star. So hopefully you do it twice and therefore when you sweep, you're gonna get the maximum uh, percentage of the, the, the event reward, right? So make sure you guys empty out the event shot, all right? So if you're new to the event, all you need to do is try to get as many of these things as possible. Uh, I would highly recommend getting the purple ones or the pink ones, right? For example, the superior activity report, get the purple ones first, get this one, the millennium, the purple books, get the intact Nimrod lens, and for the furniture, it depends on you, right? If you need them or not. So that's going to be uh, something for dormitory if you are just collecting those for fun. Yep, same goes for this one as well. All of these purple ones first, followed by the orange ones, followed by the blue ones, followed by the grey ones. So yeah, alongside with that as well, if I scroll down, you will see we also have the mini game. I actually like this mini game. Uh, you can just play it once and then you can sweep it for the rest of the day. So you gotta play it once a day and then you will be able to sweep it afterwards, which is pretty interesting. And you do get Yuzu shots from here as well uh, every single day. So that's something that you want to pay attention to, right? All right, Shirokuro uh, raids is going on right now. And then we also have the shop reset. Speaking of shop reset, I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this. Uh, this is more for veteran players, but they did add Mika into the shop right now. So you can buy a Mika's shards under the expert permit. As you can see, all right, it's right here. So you can buy, if your Mika is not yet 5 star or it's not UE50 yet, consider buying it. Uh, hopefully that's going to stay here alongside with Tracksuit Yuka, alongside with Tracksuit Mari, and a bunch of these characters. So that's always good that we can buy limited students uh, shards. Now keep in mind, if you don't obtain or if you don't own any of the limited students, you can still buy their shards but you cannot claim them. Alright, so if you don't own them, uh, maybe just buy the one that you own for the time being, right? Alright, next up we have Kivoto's Joint Firing Drill. This will happen next week. 
Uh, this is not going to happen right now. Alongside with that, we also have the joint firing drill shop reset. So that's going to happen as well. New furniture added. So this is just going to be the furniture stuff. Uh, we have one for bunny toki. This one you can claim at the shop. Uh, one of the event shop is free. And then you have one for mid Aries as well. Uh, very, very cool looking. All right, the interactions if you love looking at the chibis in the dormitory. Uh, alongside with that, this one you do get on day seven just by logging in. All right, so those are going to be for the game development clubs one. All right, like I mentioned, this one you're going to get uh, 600 pyroxines in total, right, by logging in every single day. And then afterwards, you're also going to get the second year anniversary countdown login event. Now, this will give you another 700 pyroxines just by logging in every single day. This one will start on November 1st. So make sure you guys mark your calendars. In total, you should be getting about, like I said, about 4,000 pyroxines plus the maintenance rewards and everything. So that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, if you're looking to start the game right now, like I mentioned, hopefully... Uh, this video can help you guys, uh, you know, reroll for any of these characters that I mentioned. This is going to help you guys to get a good start at least, or at least uh, somewhat of a decent start. Alright, so with that being said, uh, that is going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, as always, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you guys subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.